this video, we're going to show you how to use the data playground. This part of the grid can give you quick insights on index data sets. We start by selecting a data set. Then we select a topic. Once we've selected a topic, we can choose a measurement. The measurement we've selected will show up below the drop-down menus. Beside the measurement in brackets is the indicator that the measurement was a part of. The playground will show us the highest value for our measurement out of all the cities that were measured. The name of the city will show up beside that number. Sometimes cities will tie and multiple names are shown, up to a maximum of five cities. We're then given the average value across all the cities. This number is rounded, but if you want to see the exact value, you'll find it right below the word average, along with the unit for the value. Finally, we see the lowest value for our measurement, as well as all the cities with that value. Scrolling down, we see another way to visualize the data by way of a tree map. The larger the area, the higher the value relative to the other values. You can hover over a city to see the exact value it was given. Every city measured will show up in this chart, provided that the value it was assigned is greater than zero. Finally, we see the data overlaid on a map. You can zoom in to see the data more accurately, since the numbers may represent an average of multiple cities if viewed from afar. If you want to explore further or export the data you've been playing with, you can click the View the Raw Data button, which will take you to the table view. If you want to explore a new measurement within the same topic, click the current measurement to deselect it and then select a new one. If you want to choose a new topic and a new measurement, you can clear both at once using the button below the drop-down menus. You can switch to a new data set at any time, and this will also reset the current filters.